Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm back with another reading for the Cancer Collective. So thanks for joining me. Big thank you to my returning subscribers. I really love and appreciate you guys. I hope everyone's good and doing well. So let's jump into this reading. We've got some messages here for this reading. We've got forgiveness, regret, we have pride, and we have peace. So let's uh, tap into the energies. Let's see what these messages are pertaining to. Let's see what spirit wants us to be aware of during this time. So we've got the Four of Swords. We've got Ace of Cups, Ten of Swords. So there's a betrayal. So somebody, someone betrayed you here. There's someone that betrayed you and uh, they want a new beginning. Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning. They're thinking about you here. This is someone contemplating things now. Yeah, this is why we've got forgiveness. Someone wants forgiveness here for betraying you. It says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Yeah, so this is someone that was harboring resentment towards you here. Mm. And they betrayed you because, because of that. And they regret it. We've got regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So this is someone that is in regret right now wow yeah we've got pride someone that has a lot of pride could be dealing with a leo i love myself and i see myself in everyone yeah i feel like you're at peace we've got peace i am a i am a being of love and i release all negative energy yeah so this is someone you've released and you're at peace now. You're at peace. And they, they want your forgiveness. Yeah, this is someone that has a lot of regrets. Let's get some more insight here. Dig a bit deeper. So for those of you that's new, just be aware that I already post my readings on this platform on YouTube. I don't post on any other social media platform. And I don't reach out to anybody either, so please do not be scammed by anybody out here pretending to be me. There's a lot of trolls on social media, trolling, scamming, scamming people. Nothing better to do. Right, so back to the reading. Wow, someone really wants your forgiveness. Wow, this is so... They're under judgment. We've got judgment. Yeah, this is someone under judgment for how they treated you. And it looks like the judgment is not going in their favour. It's not going in their favour. This is someone getting karma for how they treated you. This is why they regret it now. Yeah, this is why they regret it. It looks like you're moving on. Six of Swords, you're moving on. You're being guided to move away from this person or this situation. Yeah, for some of you, your spirit guides, your ancestors are present, giving you the wisdom and the downloads that you need so that you can move away to calmer waters here. Peace. Yeah, this is peace. Yeah, back to this message. I am, being, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Peace. Yeah, peace out, motherfucker. This is what I'm getting, yeah, because whoever this is, they did you dirty, yeah, and it was, it was out of pride, this is someone that's got a lot of pride and ego, yeah, they were full of themselves, they were full of themselves here, they got ahead of themselves, this is someone, that, you know, as they say, pride come before a fall, so this is someone that has fallen, their pride has, you know, it was too big here. And now they are falling, they're under judgment here, heavy judgment here. This is someone that is just, uh, you know, they, they could be recovering from an illness or something. This is someone 
They may be suffering with health issues or something during this time. But this is someone, you know, you're not talking to, you know. They were trying to, you know, keep whatever they were doing to you a secret. So whoever this is, you know, was sneaky about what they were doing. They were hiding things from you. Yeah, with the moon energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Or Pisces season is significant here. Maybe this reading may tie in with Pisces reading for some of you. They were trying to keep this hidden. But the moon is in reverse. So whatever they were trying to keep hidden has been revealed. Yeah, it's already been revealed to you through your downloads, your ancestors. They, down, they were giving you the wisdom here. Through your intuition. It's like you're divinely guided here. You, you sense that this, this situation or this person can't be trusted here. And you trust your intuition, it looks like. So well done. Well done. You trust your intuition here. There's, this is someone that was uh, being very deceptive towards you. They were lying and hiding things from you. Lying to you. Keeping secrets. So you had to rely on your intuition in this situation here. And it looks like your intuition has protected you. That's what I'm saying. Your intuition is your superpower here. <laughs> It has protected you from this bullshit here. Because whoever this is was betraying you here, behind your back. Keeping things hidden and, and sneaking behind your back here. Stabbing you in the back. This could be a lover for some of you with his two of cups here. Soulmate energy here. So you guys are soulmates. But soulmates don't always have to be romantic. I mean, soulmates could be uh, family members, friends, you know. Take it how it resonates. But it was someone that that you was close to. This is what I'm getting. This is why it's such a major betrayal. Because whoever this is, you was close to this person. Yeah. And they actually have a lot of love for you. That's the thing. Yeah. But this is someone that's got too much pride. They got too much pride here. Mm. And they did something here. They did something to you that they regret now because they are under judgment, regrets. They can't change what they did in the past either. Yeah, they can't. There's no going back. They're under judgment here. Judgment. This is someone that wants your forgiveness here, they, but they're in doubt. They doubt that you will forgive them at this point. Yeah, they want your forgiveness. They're watching you. It looks like you may hear from them. We've got the Page of Cups. They want to reach out. Page of Cups. So this is someone that wants to express some sort of feelings here. Some sort of love towards you. They may want to apologise for some of you. They want they want your forgiveness. This is someone that wants to apologise for how they treated you. This is someone that's sorry. They have so much regret for how they treated you. <laughs> for what they did to you here. Wow, yeah, because you are moving on, you're being guided to move on as well, yeah, and they are watching you move on, page of swords, this is someone keeping tabs on you, yeah, they're stalking you, watching your social media or something, or, I don't know, if this is someone that you live with, or you work with, they watch you, however this person watches you, whoever this is, in your life, that stabbed you in the back that you, you're moving on from. It's keeping tabs on you during this time here. Mm, they're looking to rekindle. Yeah. <clears throat> For some of you, it's a lover. It's someone, it's, it's, it's a lover here. Yeah. This is someone that fell in love with you at first sight. Love at first sight, I'm getting. This message says... When I first saw you, you took my breath away. You still do. So this is love at first sight. So this is a lover that betrayed you, for some of you. Mm, they regret it. You still take their breath away. We got bully. Oh, shit. Shock. Fixated. Yeah. This is someone obsessed with you here. Yeah, they're obsessed with you. Fixated. 
But whatever they did to you, it was intentional. I'm getting, we got bully. Whatever they did to you, it was intentional. They wanted to hurt you. This is someone that wanted to hurt you. But yeah, they're a bully. So whatever they did, it was intentional here. Hurt people hurt people. Maybe they were hurt. So they wanted to hurt you. I don't know what this person's problem is. This is a bully. This is someone that's got issues, man. Shit. Right now, they're in their feelings. This is someone that attacks you. They pick on you. Yeah, very childish, <laughs> immature. This is someone got in their pride. They got in their pride here and they attacked you. They done something to you. They're a bully. They, their pride got in the way here. And they were harboring some sort of resentment. This is what I'm getting. This is someone harboring some sort of resentment here. Because it leads me to this. It says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. This is someone that was harboring resentment for you. Yeah. And it blocked the flow of love. This is like a love-hate situation. This is someone that, that hated you. They loved you, but hated you. And whatever they did, they got in their pride. They got in their ego and pride. And flipping... Stabbed you in the back here. They've done something here to stab you in the back. They betrayed you here. And tried to keep it a secret. For I feel like they tried to get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> this is someone that thought they could get away with it. Yeah, they did. They tried to keep it hidden, whatever they did. You found out, I feel. And it was a shock. You found out. Whatever they were hiding is, has been revealed. For some of you, it was a shock to find out what this person did to you. Or what they were up to. Yeah. <laughs> it was shocking. This person is in regret now. It's shocking what this person did to you. Like, how could you? Because I really feel, look, two of cups, ace of cups, this is so much. This is so many energy. This is someone that you, I feel like you had a lot of love for. This is someone that you cared about as well. It could be a lover, family, I don't know. If some of you is a lover. This is someone you cared about. Like, how could you? It's shocking. Like, this person, what this person did to you is absolutely shocking because I feel like you did not deserve it. it you didn't even deserve it. I mean, you didn't do nothing to this person to deserve what they did to you. I feel... That's how bad it is. You didn't give this person any reason to do whatever they did. They just done it because they're a bully. It's in their nature to hurt people. Mm. This is someone that's got serious anger issues. Shit. You don't even deserve it. It's shocking. Whatever you found out, it was shocking like what this person did to you. Well, for some of you, you're about to find out. Take out it resonates. Take it, I resonate. It's shocking what this person did to you because you didn't deserve it. And this is someone you cared about as well. Like, they didn't even have to treat you how they treated you. You were there for them anyway. I don't know. It's crazy. This is, this is someone that regrets it now. They want your forgiveness. Yeah, because you're moving on. You're being guided to move on here. Yeah, what else we got here? Look, good news. We got good news. Yeah, you're getting good news. Move on. Yeah, so you're, you're getting good news. You've got something good coming in towards you here. Mm, this person's getting judgment. They're under judgment here. Expect good news. For some of you, you're going to be shocked. You've got some news coming in that's going to shock you. Oh, my gosh. This is what I'm getting. The outcome of this situation here with this person is actually going to shock you here. you got news coming in going to be good news so i'm getting for some of you you're going to be shocked to find out about the betrayal but then you're also going to be shocked to find out the good news it's like this this good news is going to balance out the betrayal the hurt so you're going to be hurt about this situation but then you're also going to be happy <laughs> There's a happy outcome though Out of all of this Yeah, things were in your favour This is what I'm saying Things were in your favour Because you are releasing negativity You're at peace I am 
a being of love and i release all negative energy yeah so good news coming in you have released negative energy this is a negative situation and you that you have released uh, by listening to intuition your intuition saved you here wow your intuition saved you shit that's deep wow conflict this is someone i'm telling you whatever they did they created conflict here between you and the, between between you and them so you're not talking to this person you both got your back turned to each other they created conflict whatever they did it just caused you to you guys to be separated here yeah wow so this is someone you're not talking to this is someone you're not talking to we got another female we got a female energy there's a female attached to this situation that's scorned spying ever since she's gotten body work she's hardly home so for some of you this is a lover that betrayed you you know with someone else it's another female they betrayed you with another female here I feel like they're in conflict. There's just there's a female that spawned here. She's bitter. It looks like she's out for revenge. Shit. They're in conflict. So this is someone that wants your forgiveness. So they're trying to come back around to you. This is why they regret what they did to you. They regret what they did to you here yeah, because Whoever they betrayed you betrayed you with, for some of you, they betrayed you with another female here. And another female they betrayed you with, that's a part of the situation. And now they're in conflict. They're in conflict now. This is what I'm getting, because this female's scorned. Mm, it's someone that's hardly home. This female's hardly home. She's got on body work. So she's probably out. She's outside, showing off her body. They're in conflict. For some of you, she's, she's watching you. She's spying. She's, she's watching you. She's watching your social media. She's, she's stalking you. <laughs> this female's stalking you. For whatever reason. Maybe she's jealous. Maybe she knows about you. Maybe she knows this masculine wants to be with you. This is someone that wants to be with you instead. And she knows. He wants to be with you instead. Because look, she's hardly home. <laughs> she's hardly home. This is someone obsessed with you. They're fixated on you. You still take their breath away and everything. You still take their breath away and everything. They're obsessed with you. This female's hardly home. They, they betrayed you for someone that's hardly home. <laughs> it looks like they're in conflict. But I feel like she knows about you. She's spying. There's, you know, there's a lot of spying going on here. Stalking. She's stalking you. She may want revenge. She wants to take out revenge on someone here. She's not happy. She's bitter. This is why you're guided to move on from the situation here and, and release this, release all this negative energy. There's a lot of negative energy attached to this situation. We got good man. So we got a good man. Marry me. <laughs> Separation. Pay attention to what you're teaching your kids. Wow. Okay, so maybe this so this is why this female this other female energy here is bitter because this is a masculine that wants to marry you, propose to you. They want to be a good man for you. And they want to propose to you here. They love you. You're the love of their life. You take their breath away. So they're going for a separation. So for some of you, this is a, this is a for some of you, this mask this is a masculine that's got children with somebody else. They turned they 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 betrayed you and they had a child or they betrayed you with somebody that they got child with. Hmm. 
and they're going for a separation. So this is someone going for a separation after all that. And they want to come back to you. I mean, there's children being affected here in this situation. Look, we got says this one says, pay attention to what you what you teach your kids. Pay attention to what you are teaching your kids. Oh, so someone's child or children is being exposed to bad habits here. Someone's not paying attention to their kids. Yeah, because someone's too obsessed with watching you. These people are too obsessed with watching you. They're, they're not even paying attention to their kids. Shit. Look, they're busy spying on you. These people are obsessed. We've got the page of swords. Fixated. These people are fixated on you. They're not even paying attention to their kids. Pay attention to your kids. Like, someone's, someone's exposing their child or children to bad habits here. Their child or children is mimicking them, you know? So they may be the type to be stalking someone's social media all day long, sitting on their phone smoking and stalking someone's social media all day long. And their kids is watching them copying the same thing. Stalking people on social media and smoking all day long. Yeah, because these people are fixated, spying and fixated. These people are obsessed with you, watching you, stalking your social media or whatever they're stalking on, on their phone, sitting there, just stalking you. Obsessed, fixated. <laughs> they're not even paying attention to their kids. That's how obsessed these people are with you. That is crazy. Yeah, page of swords. Fixated here. These people are trying to gather information. They're keeping tabs on you and stuff. Like, these people are obsessed. Shit. They're not even paying attention to their kids. Oh, their kids are being neglected here because of you. Whoever you are, oh my gosh, you really got these people attention. Not even their kids has their attention <laughs> that they're giving you. You know? And their kids is being neglected here. They're exposed to bad habits here. These kids are just mimicking their parents here. Sitting on the phone, smoking all day and sitting on the phone. Someone's kids is being ignored. They're ignoring their kids, not paying no attention. They don't care. They're obsessed with this, with you, whoever you are. It's shocking. I don't know. Shock. Someone needs to go and pay attention to their kids here. Yeah, ch children are being affected here in this situation. F children are being neglected here in this situation here and everything. Wow. All because someone wants to be a good man and come and propose to you? Shit. Oh, my gosh. Someone's really making it, they're really making it their business, you know, to keep tabs here on this situation. Shit. They're going for a custody battle. So this is a situation where this is someone going for a custody battle. Because someone's child... I'm telling you, someone's child or children is being neglected here. Yeah. Someone's child or children is exposed to bad habits. An unhealthy environment. Mm, so they're fighting for custody. Like, someone's not a good parent here. Someone is not a good parent. Hmm, someone's not a good parent here and they're fighting for custody and everything. It looks like, yeah, this separation they go through is, is a battle. It's, it's, not, it's, it's a bad breakup here going on. It's really, yeah, someone's bitter. Wow. Bitter and jealous. Custody battle. Yeah, they regret. It's what I'm saying. Back to this, regret. This is someone that regrets stabbing you in the back for, for this situation here. <laughs> They're trying to come back, rekindle. Yeah, this is someone that tried to play you. They tried to play you. He says, yeah, I'm a player, but you make me want to be the guy that gave up the secrecy and quit the game. So this is someone, I'm telling you, you make this person want to change their life. <laughs> They want to be a good man for you and everything. You make this person want to be a better person. They want to quit the game, settle down, it looks like. This is someone that wants to settle down with you. They want to quit the game. They don't want to be a player no more. Boring. This person's played out. Maybe they played out. <laughs> they play their days. 
catching up to them. Their player ways is catching up to them here. Like, this is someone that's played out now. It's time to set to settle down. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this is someone that's getting old. <laughs> and it's just too much drama. I don't know. Yeah, they want to settle down. They want to settle down with you. But the thing is, they fucked up because they betrayed you. This is what I'm getting. Whatever they did, it was out of pride and ego. Yeah, it was intentional as well, bully. So whatever they did, it was intentional. They backstabbed, they betrayed you intentionally. So that, that's giving snake energy. That lets me know that whoever this is, is a snake. They're malicious. Shit. They were malicious towards you. Because the thing is, you didn't deserve it. This person doesn't deserve you. Because you didn't, you didn't deserve how they treated you here. Someone that's nostalgic, remembering the past. They're very nostalgic here. And someone can't... They're stuck on the past. <sighs> wow. This is someone waiting on you. Yeah, this person feels left out. This says, all you have time for is your family and friends. When are we going to get back to the business of us? Yeah, this person feels left out. I'm telling you, you're leaving this person behind. You're being guided to, to move on here. You're, you're being guided to, to, to calmer waters here. This is a toxic situation here. This person tried to keep you attached to. Yeah. So they're sitting there. They're still waiting for you, though. They feel like they're waiting for you to come back. When are you going to get back to the business of us? So whoever this is, feels like you're coming back. I don't know. <laughs> they feel like you're coming back to them after they treated you like this. After they bullied you. They feel like you're coming back. When are you going to get back to the business of us? Uh, Never. <laughs> Your time's up. I'm moving on to calmer waters. I'm at peace here. Shit, I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. Yeah. You have been released. I don't know if this person is delusional. They don't know that they've been released. I don't know. But this, this is someone waiting for you to come back. <laughs> waiting for you to get back to the business of us. I don't know if, they, if they're delusional or something. This is someone that feels like you're coming back. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know. Yeah. Wow, look. Marriage of convenience. So this is someone that... Um, is married they're going for a separation it was a marriage of convenience so it was a loveless marriage it looks like it was for convenience this is someone uh that may have betrayed you went back to their wife they may have lied told you that they were getting a divorce or whatever or they lied about being married or whatever yeah they were trying to keep something hidden from you here and you found out it was a betrayal. They went back to their wife. It was a marriage of convenience. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Conflict. Separation. Yeah. Whoever this is has addictions. This is a sex addict. They have secret addictions to strippers and prostitutes. So, yeah. So, this is someone... Um, they, they may have... Um, they may have proposed to a prostitute or something. Or they got children with a prostitute. This is someone that has addictions to prostitutes here. So I'm getting that they're dealing, they're sleeping with someone that's a prostitute. For some of you, they got children with someone that's a prostitute. They got a child. They're in a situation. Yeah. Because she's hardly home. That's what I'm saying. Someone's child is getting neglected here. Because someone, someone's hardly home. She's got body work and she's hardly home. Ever since she got body work, she's hardly home. Yeah? And then we've got this card, this message here, prostitute. So this is someone, this is someone that stabbed you in the back here. To go and maybe create a family with someone that's a prostitute. For some of you. And it's not working out because she's hardly home. She, you know, she uses her body. She's got body work and she uses her body to make money. So she's outside, you know, she's not like, she don't, she's not about that life, you know, that mother, you know, to be 
a housewife. This is not a housewife. I don't know if this is a masculine that tried to turn a hoe into a housewife. But it's not. this is not housewife material. This is not someone that, you know, has the time to sit down and raise kids and pay attention to their kids. Their kids is getting neglected out here because there's a female that's hardly home. Yeah, she's out here for the street. She's out here making money. She's a prostitute. She's a stripper. And she she got body work now. And she's, she's hardly home. She's showing off her body. She's making money. So this is why there's a custody battle. This is Maybe this masculine feels like the child, the children, would be better off with him instead. Because this is a female that lives a prostitute lifestyle. Yeah. And the kids are getting neglected here. Yeah, so they're going for a custody battle. This is what it is. They're trying to separate now. And uh, they're both fighting for the child. Mm. They're both fighting for the child now. Or children. Take out it resonates. Yeah, children are being affected here. Yeah. But she's scorned. Someone scorned here. This could be another female. This could be another female. I mean, I think it resonates. It's not. This might not be the same female. <laughs> this could be another separate female here. This masculine may have, you know, two baby mother situations going on for some of you. I'm getting that as well. <laughs> this may, this is a masculine that may have more than one child's mother, and they they're going through it with both of them. I'm getting that as well. This masculine going through it with both their baby mothers. One of them's bitter. One of them they married. For convenience. Yeah. And one of them they got pregnant, maybe by accident. I don't know. Yeah, they were cheating on, on this their wife with a prostitute and got the prostitute pregnant. Having reckless sex. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm getting that. And uh, they're going through it with both their baby mothers, it looks like. This is a masculine going through it with both their baby mothers here. One of them is their wife, ex-wife. One of them is, uh, you know, their side piece or something. They got their side piece pregnant or something like this or something. I'm getting that as well. And their children are just getting neglected here. But I feel like both these, uh, there's, there's, there's both issues here with this, with uh, the family. It's like a broken family situation going on here. This masculine is dealing with. This is why they regret how they treated you. They regret it for some of you. They stabbed you in the back here. And got a prostitute pregnant. Yeah. Or they stabbed you in the back, went back to their wife. I mean, whatever they did, they regret it because it's conflict now and they've got to go to court. There's custody battle, fighting for the children. It didn't work out. It weren't happily ever after. I don't know what they were trying to achieve by doing this. But for some of you, they done it to hurt you. They were using these people to hurt you. They're a bully. It looks like it backfired here. It flipping backfired. Now there's someone sitting at home alone in regret. They let their pride and ego get in the way. You've got regret here. They want your forgiveness. This is what it looks like. Yeah, this is someone that's under heavy judgment right now. This is someone under judgment for how they treated you. This is their karma. This is someone getting bad karma, going through bad karma for how they treated you. Mm, losing you is their karma, it looks like. Mm, you you looks like you were the best thing in this person's life. They're under judgment now. It, it looks like it's not going in their favour. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Right. Wow. Trolls. Oh, my days. So, so for those of you, these are people here just trolling your social media. I'm telling you. They are busy stalking you all day, fixated on you. This is someone online, smoking all day and watching you online, eh? spying on your social media or whatever. 
all day. Even their kids is and their kids is copying. So just just watching the watching this child here just gives you you know the image of how this person is watching your social media all day long. That their child is mimicking them. So this child is mimicking the person that's trolling your social media. This is a troll. They make false reports to sabotage you. Yeah, troll. Fixated, stalking you here. They're not even paying attention to their kids. These are trolls. Whoever this is, is a troll. So it could be the wife, the spouse. Whoever this masculine is married to. It could be the spouse. It could be this prostitute. Whoever they're separating from, that scorn and bitter, is a troll. And this is why she don't have time for her kids right now. She's busy trolling you on your social media. She wants to sabotage what you got going on. Yeah, out of jealousy. She's bitter and jealous. <laughs> She's a hater. This is what I'm getting. Yeah. And for some of you, it's this masculine. This masculine trolls your, your social media. Yeah, he's a bully. This masculine's a bully. This is what I'm saying. These people are doing things in the dark. They're trying to keep this hidden behind your back. These people are trying to remain in the dark here, what they're doing behind to you. But it's, it's coming out. Whatever they're trying to keep hidden, what's in the dark is coming to the light. Yeah, it's coming to the light. Look at this. Candle magic. So someone's into trying to do some sort of candle magic on someone. Yeah, for some of you, this female here, she's into witchcraft. She, she practices like dark magic or something. Shit. So for some, you need to protect yourself. This is what I'm saying. You need to stay protected here. Keep your prayers up. Light your sage. You know? Take your spiritual baths here. These people are sending you negative energies. Candles and everything being done here. Wow. Shit. Calm it lets me get away with, with shit that you never would. Oh, you see? This is what I'm saying. This is, this is someone that betrayed you here. Because you got standards. They, they were trying to treat you. They were trying to play you here. This is what it is. But you have standards. Yeah. So because you may have set up boundaries with this masculine here. They decided to betray you here. And they went back to their wife. Or they slept with a Jezebel, a prostitute here. And got them pregnant or something. Yeah. They were trying to teach you a lesson to bully you. Yeah, because whoever whoever this whoever they're married to lets them get away with, with this shit. That's why. <laughs> this is why she's scorned. This is why she's scorned here, because this masculine treats her any old how. And she lets she lets this masculine get away with it. Yeah. The comment lets me get away with shit you never would. So that's why she's bitter. Yeah. Because now this masculine wants to be a good man for you. And she wasn't good. She wasn't a good man. He wasn't a good man for her. He played her. He was a player. He played her over and over again. He probably cheated on her left, right and centre with all these prostitutes. Because this is someone that has addictions, sex addictions here. They're addicted to prostitutes. So this masculine cheated on this on their wife, their spouse. Uh, how many times I feel <laughs> a number of times they're players so this wife got played yeah and then now but she let him get away with it though that's the thing that was her problem she let, he says karmic lets me get away with shit you never would so she let she let him get away with cheating on her left right and centre and having babies outside babies and all she let him get away with it she didn't have standards she's probably insecure this is what I'm getting. She's probably insecure. Hmm. I don't know. Or maybe that's her way of, of, of holding on to him. Maybe she was in competition. I don't know. She let him get away with it though. He was a, he was allowed to, to, to live this kind of lifestyle and treat her any old how. Yeah, and get away with it. And he could always go back to her. Yeah, I'm hearing low self esteem. She's got she's got low self esteem or something. I'm hearing low self esteem. But you got standards, and this is why 
you got the hate because this man wants to be a good man for you. You set boundaries with this person. You're not letting this person come in your life to play you here. You set boundaries and you're moving on. Yeah, this is someone that tried to lie to you. Yeah, they tried to lie to you and be deceptive and keep secrets. And uh, yeah, your intuition here was too on point for this person. They couldn't, they couldn't lie to you or trick you or play you. So <laughs> you set boundaries here and it's having an effect. Because this is someone that wants to be a good man. Like they want to change their life. They're ready to quit the game now. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm your good man for you. Marry me. Marry me. Why don't you? Yeah, you don't. Yeah. But this, yeah, but <laughs> this is why it's causing so much bitter and hate because <sighs> this is someone that was never a good man to whoever they were married to. It was a marriage of convenience. Uh, they were never a good man to whoever they were married to. And now they want to come be a good man for you. See, she's bitter. Whoever this wife is, the wife is bitter, ex-wife, whatever, baby mother, she's bitter. People are bitter here. Or this could be the prostitute, I don't know. She's she's trying to do some sort of spell work here, like candles and shit, <laughs> to send you negative energy. She's hating. She's hating. So it looks like she's taking out her frustrations on you. This is what's going on here because I'm, I'm telling you, whatever's going on in this situation, you don't deserve it. For some of you, you didn't even know this masculine was, was married or if you did know, then this masculine may have lied to you and said that they were separated, they're not together. You know, you didn't know that they were still, you know, dealing with each other. You didn't know there was a custody battle or you didn't know that they're sleeping with prostitutes and stuff. You, you didn't know. You are not the culprit here. This is someone that made you look bad in this situation. Bully. They made you look bad and you're getting all this hate. And you don't even deserve it. You don't deserve it. You are a being of love. It says, I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. Peace. Yeah, so you come with peace and love. And these people are, are hating on you. This masculine has made everybody in the situation hate on you. They're bullying you. Bullying you online and everything. Trolling you, these people. <sighs> you, know, you don't deserve it here. Huh? You didn't do nothing to these people. This is people projecting their insecurities onto you, their jealousy and insecurities onto you. Because they're the ones that's insecure. They got low self-esteem. They let people treat them like shit. It's not your fault that this female let this masculine treat her like shit. What's that got to do with you? That's her choice. She chose, she allowed this masculine to treat her like shit and play her. She didn't have no boundaries. She kept taking him back or whatever. I don't know if she thought she could change this masculine. This masculine would, she was waiting for this masculine to change one day and be a good man for her. And she was holding on, hoping for the best. It's one of those situations. But he never changed for her. He's not going to change for someone like her because she's got no low self-esteem and she has a lack of self-love and self-respect. He's not going to change for someone that lets him get away with shit. You know, he's going to change for someone that has self-love, you know, someone that has self-respect and has boundaries. You're not going to change for someone like her. So that's not your fault. She allowed him to, you know, she's holding on, hoping that he will change for her one day. He's not going to change for her. This is a karmic relationship. It's a karmic relationship here. The only change, the only way people or things will change is if there's a separation. That's the change. But yeah, this man's not going to be a change to be a good man for her. Unfortunately, this is a this is a this is a situation she's gonna have to learn from. She's gonna have to learn from this situation here, this relationship. It's something she has to learn here about herself. So she don't make the same mistake again moving forward. Stop allowing people to treat you like shit. Basically. Shit, this is someone yeah, this female lacking self love. She doesn't love herself. And she's projecting that onto you. She's projecting her insecurities onto you here. 
and it, you don't deserve it. You know, it's not your fault she allows this man to treat her like shit. It's not your fault. She ain't got boundaries. She ain't got self-love. Or she's projecting onto you like it's your fault. So I don't know what this masculine has been telling her. This masculine may have been telling her a bunch of lies about you to make you look bad. Because it's, I don't know, you're getting all this negative evil eye energy for no reason. Sending you the evil eye here, trolling you, bullying you. Shit, look at this. Maury, you're not the father. Oh, shit. This serious, this is someone that's going through some serious um, family drama right now with their baby mothers. This must be going through baby mother drama, mate. This looks like baby mother drama. Shit, you're not the father. This must be mate. This is why they regret how they treated you. They betrayed you, and it looks like they got betrayed by the same people they betrayed you with. They got betrayed here. They probably finding out they're not the father for for one of for one of these kids. They probably went for a custody battle and found out they done a DNA test or something. Found out they're not the father. This is why there's so much regret. Oh, look, I'm telling you, self-love, self-love, this is what I'm saying, this is what it's about, self-love, this is what these female, this female's lacking, and this is what you have, you know, this is why you're in a, you're at peace, and they're in conflict, lack of self-love here, look, these are people got secrets, a lot of dirty secrets, so this is a masculine that's been keeping a lot of dirty, dirty secrets from you. And they keep a lot of dirty secrets from their baby mothers. Their baby mothers has dirty secrets as well. This prostitute, this wife. People got dirty secrets here. They all got dirty secrets. People are finding out that they're not the father. Yeah, this, these females were keeping dirty secrets from this masculine here. It's all coming out. This masculine find out they're not the father. There's dirty secrets and deception here. Wow. They've been betrayed. This female been keeping a lot of dirty secrets here. Yeah, let go, let go. It's time to let go. Yeah, it's time to let go of this situation all across the board. Let go and let God. We got cousin. So someone's cousin is a part of this situation. Yeah. It's a family situation here. Someone's got a new job. Some someone's getting a new job. There's a new business, new job. Oh, oh shit, someone stole money. This has been coming out a lot in these readings. Shit. So for some of you, this person, this masculine here betrayed you. They stole from you. This is a betrayal. You're going to find out. There's a good news coming in. So some of you, people are stealing money from people. People in this situation has been stealing from you. This is what I'm getting. Some of you got a cousin that's been stealing from you. Cousin. Someone's cousin has been stealing money. I'm getting that. Someone, you got a cousin that's been stealing money here. For somebody, this masculine has been stealing money. Whoever this is that wants to have, a, wants to propose, they're a bully. So I'm telling you, they were doing things to hurt you here. They're trying to sabotage you here. This, they got this female, their baby mother or their wife or whatever, to sabotage you here, to steal from you. People are trying to steal from you here. They're trolling your social media. It's crazy. These are bullies. These people are bullying you here. This masculine was stealing from you. This is why there's so much regret. And they want your forgiveness. Yeah. Look, they're getting readings on you. I'm telling you, this masculine is spying on you during this time. They're spying. People are spying, getting readings done. This feminine is getting readings done as well. She's spying. She's looking into things. Wow, people are getting readings on you during this time. If you hear your ears ringing, then yeah, there's someone trying to tap into your into your your, your energy. This is what I'm getting because <laughs> people are really trying to look into you during this time. Yeah, look, we got divine feminine has new love. That's what it is. People are jealous. <laughs> You're moving on. You got new love. You got good news coming in. Yeah, look, we got time waster. For some of you, feel like this person is a waste of time. They wasted your time or they're still wasting time. They're a time waster. Mm, they wasted too much time with all these prostitutes and these uh, insecure baby mothers and stuff. 
they wasted too much time here. Yeah, and uh, it looks like they lost out. We've got new love, divine family. We've got new love. Let go, let God. This is it. It's all about self love here. Yeah, you're at peace. You are at peace. Release all negative energies. That's it. That's it. So it's, this is someone that wants your forgiveness now. Nah. They want your forgiveness. They're waiting on you. They're hoping that you'll forgive them. Yeah. This is someone praying and hoping that you will forgive them for what they did to you. Because they are under judgment right now. They're getting karma for how they're treating you. What they're going through is bad karma for how they treated you here. Yeah. This is someone that's been betraying you, lying about you to people. They lied to you, lied about you. They've been bullying you behind your back, online, stealing from you. They stole money for some of you. Like, this is crazy. The way this person treated you and you didn't even deserve it. This is someone that you cared about. This is someone that you was there for. Like, what? Why? Oh, because you got too much pride and ego. Okay, well, pride comes before fall. And this is what's going on. Pride has come before a fall. This is someone falling. They are falling now. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be able to get back up. This is someone that is falling. And I don't know if they can get back up from this. Because whatever they're going through, they're going down. For some of you. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, and you're going up. On upwards and onwards, <laughs> yeah. So expect good news. You got good news coming in, yeah. You got good news coming in. Expect good news. Something good's going coming in for you. New love, new life, new beginnings. This is it. Onwards and upwards. So well done for listening to your intuition. Your intuition has saved you from your enemies. It looks like Cause these people was your secret enemies here. Secret in the dark, doing shit in the dark. Yeah, trying to stay hidden, trying to remain in the dark. But what was in the dark has come to light and you're going to get good news here. you got something good coming in. New love, new beginnings and everything are oh, beautiful. So I hope this reading helps you guys. I hope it helps. So if it does resonate with you in any way, feel free to leave a comment or you can just uh, give this video a like. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all your support, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you join me in the next video. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.